Hey what's going guys, welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some monsters that I was able to basically rank 5 in this current bounty hunt. So with this bounty hunt, um, I was actually able to, you know, get tons of coins and also sells for many monsters. And I'm going to go ahead and show them in today's video. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so let me go ahead and claim this real quick. So right now I have 8,300 gems, right, as you guys can see. Um, before bounty hunt started, obviously I had like... I think a thousand or two thousand i think a thousand and a half let's just say right so i had that much gems and within the the next two or three days um i ended up completing a task um you know got myself tons of gems uh, completed a few tasks and basically got myself over eleven thousand gems um and actually it was ten thousand gems sorry so ten thousand gems and i spent the other let's say two thousand even though a thousand five hundred right i spent 2000 and then right now i have 8300 let's just say 8000 so so far i've spent about 4000 or more gems um and that's bounty hunt and with the with those 4000 gems i was actually able to get tons of cells so just wanted to throw that out there for you guys in case if you were wondering how many um gems i spent in this bounty hunt so take a look at this i have 11495 cells for the free bounty hunt monster so basically a rank 5 because all you really need is 9,000 cells. So I kind of overdid that. And then we also have Gleamhild here that has, uh, we got 11,000 cells for it. So basically another rank 5 right there. Aquafian is basically one of the monsters that they give you, uh, cells, they give cells for you for free with Gekon, right? And those are what, the red bags or something, right? Um, or is it the green bags? I think it's the green bags. So 3,800 cells from that, 2,700 cells. By the way, I had about basically zero cells for Aquafian. So 3,800 right there, basically 4,000 and then 2,700. And then these two monsters, I never actually owned them before. So I'm glad they give me cells for this monster, these two monsters because I really needed them. Um, I just never owned them. I skipped their, you know, mazes. Uh, so I wasn't able to craft it at all. And now I can actually craft them. Hornroot, I only needed 900 cells. And now I can actually max that monster out. So I guess we could go ahead and do that right now. So here is one mythic that we're going to max out thanks to this bounty hunt. And what is that ring 5 status caster? Oh, it's a life regen. Okay, so we got one mythic so far, right? That's a blossom monster. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I guess max out Goliathus in this video as well. Shall we do it? I wonder how many rune slots I have for this monster. Um, No clue. Oh, I only have one. That really sucks, man. I have an idea. What if I sell it, recraft it? Nah, it's gonna it's gonna cost more gems though. Alright, we need to go ahead and rank up Goliathus. Obviously, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spend some a few a few hundred gems here and there. You know what I mean? Now, obviously, I can go ahead and wait this out. You know what I mean? But I'm just gonna do this for the purpose of the video. So, if you guys um, would like to return a favor, just go ahead and smash the like button. It only takes a few seconds and it's free. So, as you guys can see, we got ourselves a bring five Goliathus, just like that. Pretty sweet. Um, and let me see. We're going to go ahead and rank up again. By the way, Gekon, I had him at 120, if not 123, when the bounty hunt started. And I was able to get it to rank 3, thanks to bounty hunt. So, you know, that actually helped out. Now, I don't really need to max him out at all. You know what I mean? I can take my time with Gekon. Because I don't really need to max it out. Seriously, like, 130 is fine. You know what I mean? This monster, on the other hand, I do need to rank this monster up, and I might actually spend, like, most of my coins, if not, like, as much as I can, just to rank 5 this, because I need this monster. Um, I actually need to max this out because of the Water Beast. So, what they tend to do with Bounty Hunts is, here's what they do. So, what they normally do is release at least one Metro monster, what I've noticed is they release at least one metro monster every single bounty hunt right so the previous one i forgot who it was but i was able to actually get tons of cells for it uh oh it was uh who no never mind it wasn't that it was another monster i forgot the name of it but it was one of those um and in this current bounty hunt we have aquafiend that i need to go ahead and max out <clears throat> so i'll be able to you know go ahead and hopefully rank up that water beast um, or it'll help towards that at least so that's gonna be basically another rank five all right so my alcohol i know it shows that i have like 2000 cells or something but no worries because i will be you know 
um, obtaining more cells because I have tons of coins. Look at this. Uh, so I was able to collect 166,000 coins. Um, and it was over a thousand uh, stamina packs that I basically got and I spent them all. I still have like a hundred something remaining as you guys just saw. So anyways, Aquafine, we're going to go ahead and rank you up, I guess. So now here's the thing. I could max this monster out in this video, but here's the thing. They really need to add a system where I can just trade in all my coins uh, for the amount of cells that I want for a specific monster. I feel like that'll actually help out a lot because you have to keep on tapping um you know, to purchase cells over and over again, it, takes, it just takes forever, you know what I mean? So I don't think I'll be able to actually max out Aquafine in this video, but I just wanted to show you guys that I was able to get it at, to at least 137 in this video, but eventually it'll be a rank 5. So that's another monster. Who else? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Phase Rock Pro, no, no, no. Oh, I need to craft these other monsters here. So, by the way, I only had like... 70 or 80 cells 85 87 cells actually 87 cells of gleam hild when you know before bounty on started and now <laughs> let me show you guys how much i have where the heck is gleam hild so it is a light element what wait oh that i already crafted i think i already crafted it oh yeah the egg is right here no okay so the egg is here so I can't really max it out at the moment, so I just have to first craft it. And we did get three rune slots open, which is awesome, right? So here we go, guys. We got Gleam Held here. Um, and I might do a rank 5 review if you guys want to see that. Make sure you drop a like. Or any of these monsters if you guys want to see a rank 5 review for them. Obviously, I'm going to do one for the uh, free-to-play bounty hunt monster. But if you guys want to see any other ones, just go ahead and let me know. I got you. All right, so we're still up with uh, gems, 8,000. Not bad, not bad. And I'm going to go ahead and max this one out for this video as well. So here we go. That's 120. And we do have enough uh, food resources to also, you know, feed them up to the maximum level, obviously. So, all right. There goes Phantom. Very good, in my opinion. That's Satisgaster. And finally, guys, the random torture. That could really throw off the enemy. All right. So I got myself a Ring Vibe Gleam Hollow as well. And I have a couple of thousand cells extra. I really wish I could give out some cells, but sadly, there's no way of doing that, so... I also would actually give out some cells, seriously. Um, but anyways, who else did I get cells for? Oh yeah, these two guys. Do I really want to craft and mac or rank them up? <sighs> actually, I want to test something, okay? Now, I'm not going to rank it up. I'm actually just going to go in and hatch it. Alright, so like this. i go ahead and place it. Oh, was that a that was an earth monster right let me go ahead and move this then oh go to library okay so it does give me cells oh hold on hold on hold on so for rank one i need to rank up archduke ah oh, okay earth dog is there so i need to rank up those other two monsters as well in order to get the rewards that's what i was thinking for these books so let me see where is the other one you know that one other monster that we have up there as well is it ogorong no it's not that one uh earth dog no we already have that crafted where could it be? Oh, Killer Rock. Okay, so if we do Killer Rock, uh, rank 0, that's going to give us all these rewards right here. But if we do rank 1, we need to rank up Darmacon and also Gothrom. Ah, uh, that really sucks. Okay, anyways, we need to put the Earth Monster right here. We can't mess this up. And also, why did I put Goliathus there? This is an Earth Monster. Going to keep it right where my Earth Monsters are. Cool. Okay, so time to rank up more monsters. Or actually, not rank let's craft and i might as well just take my time with this because i don't really need to craft many other monsters there um so i'm just gonna take my time with this one with the killer rock and i guess i'll just go ahead and break it this out and rank it up why not i guess um i do have some cells for these other monsters that i can also break out but i just wanted to make this video showing you guys that i spent a couple of thousand gems to get a bunch of rank 5 monsters now keep in mind that the 166,000 coins that I have, I can actually go ahead and, for example, max out Aquafine, which is one of the monsters that it's going to be that I'm going to max out. And then the remaining coins, what I'm going to do is most likely go ahead and rank up Earthhawk and probably Killer Rock just for the book rewards. All right. Now, sadly, there aren't any other Metro monsters besides, besides Gekon, but Gekon, actually, wait, that could help me out towards Thunder Beasts. Okay, maybe, maybe I can actually. Rank that up. Okay. Um, I wonder. Let me see. Let's go to Thunder Beast real quick for the sixth one. I need 
basically two monsters. Ah, right? Magic monsters too? So two more? Okay, it's fine. I guess I'll go ahead and spend my coins towards Gekon, Aquafian, and then probably these two or some other monsters. But I already have this one maxed from the previous bounty hunt, so I don't have to do anything with that. And thanks to this bounty hunt, I was able to max out Hornroot, Goliathus, and obviously these other two are going to be maxed out soon. So, so many rank 5 mythics just for a th couple thousand gems. Now, normally in Tails Challenge, it's like, what, two or three thousand gems, right? Just to max out one mythic to rank 5. But here, you're getting multiple, which is pretty good, right? That's why I really like bounty hunts. And with this bounty hunt, you were able to actually get a couple of, like, one taps here and there, like... By that, I mean insta-killing the Fugitive Monster, the League 8 one. Like that one, for example, right there. That was a great example. Although this wasn't that heavy of a hit, I guess. Um, but normally, you can actually just do a billion damage. Uh, but, of course, you have to get lucky. Alright, so this damage is kind of normal. Like 359 right there, that, that was normal. You know what I mean? Like that normally happens. But, um, wait, did he just do that with Total Blind? I don't know. Let me go ahead and collect this. Hold on. I gotta check. Does the skill that Gekon just did, does that NER? Does Gekon even NER at all? I haven't really taken a look at his skills much uh, besides, you know, the fact that he can actually do some cool stuff with the Guard Town Hater and also, um, what else? I think he can also PER if I'm not mistaken, right? Okay, anyways, randoms, randoms, randoms. Uh, Gekon, let me see. Oh yeah, removes all night so this is the one that he used. I was like confused, what the heck? Alright, so thank you for doing that, Garcon. Um, anyways, <laughs> uh, by the way, I posted a short on, uh, you know, how to actually one-tap the future monster, if you guys would like to still see that, because there's still like, what, two or three days left in his bounty hunt? Yeah, three days and nine hours. So I would say it's still worth it, you know what I mean? If you want to go ahead and get yourself a bunch of cells here and there, one-tapping the future monster, uh, make sure to check out that short video. It was uploaded like a day or two ago. But anyways, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's Monsters video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys actually maxed out any of the monsters this bounty hunt. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.